Let's move on to our next presentation by Professor Massimo Angrilli and PhD candidate Valentina Ciufreda, Cities of the World. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, my name is Massimo Angrilli. I'm a professor from the School of Architecture at the University d'Annunzio, Chieti Pescara. And I'm here with Valentina Ciufreda, and she is a PhD candidate at the same School of Architecture. And we are presenting this experience that we did together, we call Curated, which is um, a didactic experience, if I am able to, okay. Uh, didactic, exper didactic experience that took place during the COVID lockdown. So the idea uh, basically was to um, react to the travel restrictions that the COVID brought and to let the students travel around the world, inviting um, people uh, to give a speech, to give a lecture about the city where they live or where they work from different countries around the world. Uh, so the first cycle uh, took place uh, exactly in, during the lockdown. The second cycle was the, the day after, and it was blended with students uh, coming back to, to the aula and the professors still um, presenting their experiences um, from um, distant learning. The lecture, uh, of course, uh, focused on cities, foreign cities. Uh, each guest basically discussed uh, a city from different points of view, uh, of course, based on their knowledge and their expertise of that city. Uh, we covered about 17 cities with 17 different lecturers. And uh, the students were involved in this um, didactic experience, not as uh, passive uh, attendees of the lectures, but uh, as active uh, participants, because they were charged to um, prepare a research uh, regarding that featured city uh, to present in front of the lecturer. So each lecture was anticipated by uh, a mini lecture by the students. So it's a flipped classroom and cooperative learning uh, as well, where the students were charged and they took responsibility um, on this task, uh, also to uh, prepare the, the research and at the end of the lecture to lead the discussion with the lecturer and with all the classroom and, and the invited, of course, uh, guests. We, mm, in a sense, uh, drew inspiration from uh, Georg Brown's uh, Atlas, uh, Cities of the World, which is the name. Uh, uh, Georg Brown uh, was a German geographer who did this uh, very interesting Atlas of the Cities of the World where the focus was uh, uh, trying to get uh, maps, illustrations of the cities in, that in a sense could be innovative, could be um, new kind of descriptions of, of, the, of the world. So uh, the idea was to, in a sense, update this um, uh, atlas from, from, uh, from Brown and in a sense also to modernize the illustrations and the maps that uh, Georg Brown did in, in his um, atlas, which was, uh, of course, in the mid uh, 16th century. This is the methodology of um, the pedagogic experience. So the first step uh, was uh, done before the lecture two weeks before, where uh, one group of three students was charged to, to prepare this research about the city to be discussed two weeks later. So the primary objective of this uh, part of the didactic uh, um, activity was to um, 
generate interest in the classroom regarding this specific city. Uh, stimulating, of course, collaborative research and the team building between the students to develop both learning strategies and relational competencies. And this was very effective, I, I should say, because they were very responsible about the, this task. So the first step was basically done uh, by each group at home, separated, because it was during the lockdown, but they were able to interact through the uh, Microsoft Teams. That was our tool in our school. The second step was the virtual presentation made by the students invited to share their uh, findings about this uh, city, this feature city. And the guest lecturer, in this case, Professor René Davids, uh, in turn um, uh, discussed their findings hmm? also proposing his point of view and his expertise about that specific city. And these are some of the, some of res the results of the students' work. This is uh, just two images, uh, um, one image from their from the work. They are presenting their research about that city, specific city. And after that, uh, the guest lecturer session uh, which was, uh, of course, an expert, uh, in this case, a professor, offering um, insights, expertise, real-world perspectives. But the students uh, actively uh, interacted with the guest lecturer because this was a task. The students were committed to, to do so. And at the end of the... Um, lecture by the professor, uh, the students again led a concluding, dis a concluding discussion, a debate uh, on urban planning, because uh, maybe I didn't mention that we are um, in an um, urbanism course at the architecture school. So the importance of, and the characteristics of the city and, and all that. And also uh, the sorry the discussion was open to other guests that could join us because it was open to everybody who wanted to to share. Uh, but this was interesting because we uh, could appreciate the importance of empowering students, giving them responsibility to lead uh, this activity, this didactic activity, both in preparatory and execution phase of, of the lecture cycle. So this is a final step of this lecture series because we, um, in a sense, uh, through the compilation of the students' work and all the lectures done by the, the guests, we created this uh, uh, Cities of the World Atlas hmm? uh, on a dedicated website as a repository for the research and I can show you very briefly how does it work, this atlas. You can, of course, uh, by yourself, shoot a photo and, and enter the website, uh, which is a collection of the lecturer lectures and also of the research by the students. So one, one video and one um, link to the um, drawings and the maps done by the students. There is an example that will be um, about to be open. The, yeah, this was uh, regarding Tokyo. So this is the work done by the students just in two weeks. Of course, it's not uh, such a big uh, research, but it was essential to get to draw the interest from the students uh, regarding this specific case in, or, in order also to let them able to lead the discussion about the city. So next. Next step was this uh, twinning 
that we did with another uh, course of architecture school in Manchester. So uh, we tried to, in a sense, unire le, solitu le solitudini. I don't know in English how to say. To say. Le le we tried to, to uh, cooperate the two uh, classrooms, in Pescara and Manchester, on uh, a same topic, which was the waterfront regeneration. So we shared lectures, we shared critics of the works done by the students. This was the prosecution of the, of the, the, of the course. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And it, this was really interesting also, and you can, if you wish, uh, um, show the photo to just to see uh, how the Pescara School of Architecture looks like, it, because this is a website, uh, which is the same website of the uh, Cities of the World Atlas, where we put together the schools of uh, Salford, Manchester, and uh, Pescara. So we shared lectures, we shared critics, um, and different activities. Um, and we also did uh, uh, an exhibition of the works of the two classes from Pescara and Salford. Uh, so it was um, a virtual exhibition. So this was the ticket to invite the people to, to come to visit the exhibition. And it was a vernissage the people were invited to, to come with their own uh, glass of wine or whatever, just to be together again. And uh, it was nice. It was a uh, nice experience. They put, putting together people in a distant learning was not uh, a simple task. It was challenging. So this was the experience. Now we are going to propose another um, initiative, let's say, that will require the participation of all of you. We will use uh, in this uh, activity a very sophisticated technology. So please don't be scared. <laughs> be something which is really new. It is rectangular shaped. It is uh, thick of paper wireless they are we, we call it postal cards so this is the idea we want to build an atlas uh, an atlas about the cities of ingenium uh, so the idea is to share between this community but to open up to the extended community and we invite you to share those, those postal cards with your colleagues and with your students. We will tell you in a, in a minute because it will require another sophisticated technology. It is called pen. Do you have a pen? Wow. So this atlas could be a, a sort of a guide for the future students of this campus, future uh, European campus. So when you decide to go to, I don't know, uh, Karlsruhe or, or, or to Cork, um, maybe the cities, the city uh, could be one factor no? to, to consider. So we ask you uh, in a minute, uh, Valentina will, will tell you how to do it, but before we will uh, distribute these postal cards, uh, how to fill out and how to send the postal, the, the card, yeah. Because we are sustainable, so don't, we don't want to, to, to send physically the hard copies, but we will ask you to do it digitally. Okay, so the idea is to give uh, 10 postal cards, physic, uh, hard copies to each school that is now um, in this room. So maybe can you uh, raise your hands? One representative for school can raise his hand and collect. Okay, so can I have a question? See? Uh, we work in four different schools. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and we have forty different cities. Ah, four. 
Ah, because you're, yes. <laughs> it's the same with the university, our university, because we work in two different cities. Yes, we should do, uh, we should do so. So uh, you ask me. So we, you, maybe we will give you uh, a, a little more cards. So. <laughs> Right now, right now, every one of you should have one postal card. So we will give at least one postal card to each one of you. So now Valentina will give you the instruction and there is also a challenge. So please pay attention because we are raising the level because Patrick gave you uh, gold medal. I will give you money. <laughs> I have only five euros. Yeah. Sorry. It's so Italian. <laughs> Okay, first of all, uh, I ask you to scan the, um, the QR code located on the top right corner uh, in the position where usually occupied by stamp. And uh, if uh, the operation is successful, um, a questionnaire on uh, Microsoft Form will open to you. It's a very simple questionnaire. It's in an anonymous form. And you'd like to contribute to the promotion, uh, as we'll see shortly, consisting of multiple choice questions and a few more detailed questions where we ask to write uh, your response. And now I'll briefly uh, explain how it's structured and then we'll uh, a few minutes to, to respond. The first one, very simple, uh, pertain to your university um, and the city in which your department is uh, located. Of course, if, if you have more campuses, campuses you yes. choose yeah. one. Choose one. And the first of more detailed question is the number four, maybe, uh, where we ask to indicate the first three keywords that come to your mind when thinking about your city. 
and uh, don't take too much time to to answer this question because is um, your initial talks are are important and in the question number five, we ask to reflect further and indicate the categories of resources most uh, prevalent in your city. It's possible to choose uh, uh, more than one option. And uh, above all, uh, you can add other categories by answering uh, uh, the question number six. And this step is crucial for us. It will help to organize and index the collected information. And keep in mind the uh, individual uh, resources you're thinking when you choose uh, because um, they will be helpful in the in the next phase. Um, uh, in the in the response of uh, number seven, we ask for a reference email address to enhance the dissemination of uh, this data collection. You are completely free to provide it or not. For those who make uh, themselves available. Uh, we will send a PDF to be disseminated in your university. And uh, we will show you uh, how it works shortly. If you like to share additional uh, talks or helpful advice with you, you can uh, uh, use the number eight. Yes, so yep. just one uh, remark. It's important for us that you maybe can contribute suggesting what, that, what yeah. kind of categories this atlas should consider because we don't want to do a uh, touristic uh, guide mm -hmm. uh, so uh, Rouen should not mention the cathedral because it's well, well known but maybe each one of you knows something a secret of the place uh, a little museum a little librarian who is very interesting for the students to know or maybe a bar Yeah. Yeah. The reason we need your collaboration is that often before visiting a city, people really uh, on the web to gather information about what to see or what activities to do. However, too often uh, what is show is far from the most interesting aspect that the place has to offer. So uh, the idea stems from discontent with um, how we often gathering information about the city we want to visit. Uh, as you can see from this research, we attempt for the city of Chieti, where the main campus of our university is located. What research often gives us um, about the city, um, we know is often superficial. And the same thing happened for Pescara when uh, our Department of Architecture uh, is located. And for Google, it seems to there's only the CM Beach in Pescara, but we are sure that uh, <laughs> it's much, much more to see and, and live. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we would like to, like professor and student from the university forming the Ingenium uh, network, to suggest to colleagues uh, at the other location which plays events and intangible uh, resources not to miss during this visit. So now we are explaining to yeah. you how to use this technology. <laughs> so this is what we should do with your pen. Right now, it's okay. one of the... Yeah. You know, there is a challenge. The first one to finish this postal card with at least three uh, suggestions we will get a beer paid by me. Actually, the last one will always be a beer. <laughs> <laughs>
It's a win-win situation for me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, these are yeah. the suggestions that I gave uh, regarding the yeah. different situations. Dobbiamo farla anche noi su Pescara. No, no, no. But, but you can take you can take your uh, postcard because um, yeah. Where not to be the last one. <laughs> I didn't mention that I like uh, oh, no. specific interiors, <laughs> which are very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you back the postal cards. I will explain why, but now I would like to take a look then. Oh, <laughs> 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 Yeah, 
So we have all the postal cards or anyone is still working on it? You? <laughs> so uh, we have many interesting suggestions. I will ask you now, and we have uh, ordered all those postal cards to no, <laughs> to do what um, Valentina will tell you in briefly, please. Okay, these are examples from the city of Chieti, the National Archaeological Museum, for example, on the the Good Friday procession during uh, the Holy Week. Yeah, the only week is a very ancient yeah. session. Still uh, working, even during the war. Yeah. And now we ask you to have a photo of your postcard that Massimo um, bring you back and upload it on Instagram with the hashtag Atlas Ingenium or send it by email, you can find the email on the uh, postcard. There is also uh, a digital postcard uh, to be shared. Uh, is a simple PDF and uh, we, we send you by email if you um, write your email in the questionnaire. Very simple. In the form on Microsoft form, you should put your email yeah. if you wish to uh, receive and collaborate on this address. You will receive this digital postcard yeah. to share with your colleagues and students. Yeah. These are the hashtag and um, the email uh, address. Okay. Must... Okay. Uh, so the redistribution. Now we will give you back the poster cards and we ask you to put it in uh, Instagram. Uh, who's, who is not able to do so can send it by email and we will do this uh, um, sharing on the social. So the idea is to uh, put in the socials where our students maybe are present those poster cards uh, and those suggestions to be shared among the community. Simon, can I help you? <laughs> okay, so we give you back the card. And I will. Uh, I read with the book from God. Yeah, 
So basically we are done. Okay, so um, I hope you are doing so the uploading in Instagram because it could be nice to see uh, immediately how it looks like. Well, any question? Uh, regarding this idea of the Atlas, I was talking with Marcello Costantini, maybe this could be, became something real. I mean, not only this workshop. So the idea is to uh, work on it in the future in a progressive uh, and incremental uh, manner, of course, with this um, digital uh, postal card. Um, yes, maybe this is something that we will also uh, organize into one work package, according to Marcello. Let's see what will happen. So if uh, there are no questions, thank you so much from me, from Valentina. Thank you very much. I hope this will become real. It would be so nice to have them all in the same place.